The Sex Human Revolution can be played as much in combat as it can be done in stealth. Uh, one of the challenge uh, we had was to make sure that combat and stealth would be fun to play in their own rights. For stealth, we did a lot of things to, to really make it compelling, to really make it like uh, you're outsmarting the enemies, that you can be the invisible guy, the hunter looking at its prey and then taking them down. We used two basic uh, 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 factors to support the stealth, you know? You have to be uh, out of the sight of your enemies and, and, uh, and uh, you have to deal with the sound propagation. It's organic, it feels so natural, like I understand when I'm, I'm getting cut, I understand when I'm successful. I feel that I'm uh, getting more out of the story. Sometimes when you're uh, in an enemy compound and you're sneaking around, the guards themselves are having conversations. If I go in guns blazing, they're gonna disrupt those conversations. But if I'm taking the time, I'm being careful and sneaking, maybe I'll overhear them talking about something that will actually help me get in farther. This door gotta be guarded 24-7, you hear me? I hear you, man. It's not like one of those scripted sequence where you go in, you open a door, and then all the enemies just go and they place uh, themselves into specific covers and they just wait for you to go. They do what they have to do. They might, hearing noises, be suspicious and investigate. So we really uh, base the AI uh, on those principles. If you go in and you stealth, you close to one place, they're gonna go around, they're gonna flank you if they know you're there. If they don't know you're there, hey, all the better. Just take down them. For me, the augmentations are the star of the show. That's clear, you know, it's all around that. Cloaking very important, and also I like to really boost my radar with all the, the different uh, options that you can have in it. And as a stealth agent, I definitely equip Adam with most of the, of the stealth augmentation. So I take, you know, the X-ray, so you can, you know, see through walls. You know where the enemies are positioned. You can see what direction they're looking at. You see where the security cameras are other augmentations like the mark and track that really allows you to tag uh, the enemies that you see, uh, trackers that are going to, to follow them, so you'll always be able to, to know where they're positioned and where they're patrolling. Attachments like a silencer can be uh, really useful, but we also have weapons like the crossbow that is totally silent. I'll usually use a crossbow for a long distance, let's say there's like two guys, one is patrolling and one is close to me. I'll use a crossbow to take that, the, the guy furthest from me, and by the time he goes down, I'll uh, just attack the guy that's closest to me with a stun gun. There is a lot of stuff around stealth that make it uh, very specific and very special to uh, this human revolution.